Hello Minecrafters, this is BB Amain, and you're watching another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to take a look at a very compact T flip flop design that's possible now using redstone blocks. So, in a previous tutorial, I had created a T flip flop based on this design. Uh, this design was created by Minecraft PG5. I saw his video and I was pretty inspired by it. I wanted to improve a little bit on the time it took to toggle the state of the uh, output. And so it seemed to me that that could be improved. So I created this design. It's actually a little bit bigger, but by using uh, this piston here, I was able to use a pulse shortener and uh, speed up the time it took for the state to be changed and so I thought that was quite an improvement and so in the video I mentioned this was a 7 by 2 by 1 design it's actually a 6 by 3 by 1 because of this uh, buried piston which I forgot to count and well I shouldn't have really counted that that block there that was just used for the input so this is the improved design though um, I realized that because we have this piston here, it is shortening the pulse to one tick. And because it's one tick, um, this sticky piston that's activated by that one tick is going to extend, but when it retracts, it's going to leave its block out there so that we can use that for the T flip flop state. And so here, if we uh, put an input on this design, we see that it's off, and now that it's on. So I would say in this case that this is a 5 by 2 by 1. Some people might say it's 5 by 3 by 1 because of the piston extending in the air. Um, this particular design because of the redstone bug I mentioned in the previous video with the redstone block or the possible bug is not really stackable anyway, but it is tileable. And so I think I would just say, okay, listen, it's a, it's a 5 by 2 by 1. Um, which is great. It's the design, same size as the original design, so we've improved it quite a bit. So let's build this one. Um, this is pretty easy. What we need is a piston that is going to be activated by our input. So our input comes into this repeater. You can have the input out here be anything you want. Um, let's use Let's use a pressure plate. Oh, sorry, let me use chisel block here. So let's say we have a pressure plate there. And so the input comes in, and this piston is going to activate. And what it's going to do is it's going to shorten the pulse to one tick. So this piston on the other side of that block is only going to be activated for one tick. That's going to cause this piston to extend for that one tick, but it will retract immediately on the tail end of that first tick, and it's going to leave its block um, out there. So if we just activate this, you can see that it, extend, it extended and retracted really quickly, and it left its block there. So this is our output now, and you'll see that uh, we actually didn't need that second piston and second redstone block. That's uh, extraneous to the design. So we still, of course, have two sticky pistons because I added one in my design, but we've um, we've removed the, one of the redstone blocks from the original design. So I, I think this is, you know, re more um, less resources to make this. So that's always great. And uh, in fact, this repeater is not really necessary. I believe. Let's just make sure because uh, you only need that if you're going to tile them together. Yes, so we can see that that uh, piston's not necessary, or that repeater, sorry, is not necessary. So let's, um, let's use that repeater, and let's go ahead and um, make this a stackable, uh, tileable design. So we're going to just use switches now. So we just extend our design out 
We're going to need repeaters in this case because we're putting them right close together. So we don't want these signals to get mixed up. This is our piston, which is a signal uh, pulse shortener, I guess you would call it, or a monostable circuit, I think some people call it. And here's our redstone blocks, and out here we have our three additional outputs. There we go, we put our inputs on, and we can activate that one. There's the second one, that middle one that wasn't on. There's that one, and they all work independently. So there you go, an improvement to the original design, still tileable. It's now a 5x2x1, 5x3 if you want to count the air block that's required for the piston to extend. And uh, great, check out my other videos and see you next time. Goodbye.